and we're going to begin this beautiful class. Hands on the knees, spine straight. You're going to take a big inhale through the nose and a big exhale through the nose. Inhaling, expanding the belly and exhaling, contracting the belly. Keep on moving this breath to the lower part of the body. Perineum, lower belly, expanding the ribs, expanding the collarbones, rising up. And then exhaling, releasing, relaxing, and repeating. Inhaling, expanding. And exhaling, contracting. Keeping your eyes closed and the spine straight, lowering the shoulders, looking forward, big smile in the face, couple more, inhaling and exhaling. Grounding yourself wherever you are. Just focusing on the breath. How is this breath today? Is it easy? Is it hard? Is it rebelling? Is it calming? Listen to your breath. And now you're going to inhale fully and hold that breath. Inhale. Hold the breath, just keep it inside. Take this opportunity to stretch a little higher, your neck, your head, everything stretching. And exhaling. And bringing the palms together at the center of your chest. You're gonna wrap them vigorously and create heat between your palms. And then you're going to place these thumbs in front of your heart center, thumbs on the sternum and sternum over the thumbs, spine straight, looking forward, inhaling fully. Exhaling. Inhaling to tune in. Om. Jugat Guretna me, Sat Guretna me, Sidi Guru de Vename, Hat Guretna me, Jugat Guretna me, Sat Guretna me, Sidi Guru de Vename, Hat Guretna me, Jugat Guretna me, Sat Guretna me, Sidi Guru de Vename. Now inhaling fully, holding that breath. Pressing your palms, staying still in this space of silence. Inhale a bit more. Stay here. And exhale. Relax the hands on the knees. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Another deep inhale. And exhaling, emptying your top, your middle, and your lower parts. 
and then very gently opening your eyes. So, as you are always doing here in my class, you become DJs. Today I prepared two kriyas. One is for balance of the nervous and immunity, immune system. And the second one is a kriya for heart connection. So we open our heart. It's going to be very meditative today. So I'm going to ask you to play the first song that is called Instant Ephemeris. As far as I know. Yeah, the first one. Here we go. All together. If the music is too loud, you will let me know. Please let me know. We're going to sit without a break in easy pose. And we're going to start with this Korea that is to balance and recharge the nervous system. Basically, you're going to cultivate focus. You're going to become stronger. You're going to also develop your intuition so that you can receive messages from beyond and live life in an amazing way. You're going to activate. You're going to think better. You're going to feel very focused after this. The right hand is going to be basically with the ring and the pinky finger locked with the thumb like this. I repeat, pinky ring locked with the thumb like this with the palm facing forward. And the right hand, the left hand is gonna be facing down. So one looks forward, the other one looks down. This arm is gonna stay still like a warrior. And this hand is gonna move up and down like this all the time, around 30 centimeters up and down like this while we do breath of fire. If you cannot do breath of fire, you're gonna do long and deep breathing. If you cannot do long and deep breathing, you're dead. Are we ready? Closing the eyes, inhaling fully. And exhaling. And inhaling to begin, moving the hand and breath of fire. You have to regulate the breath and the movement of your hand at the same time. Can you do that? Pumping the navel point at the same time as you move your hand up and down. Can you do that? Concentrating on the third eye at the same time as you do breath of fire and you move your hand up and down. Can you do that? <laughs> Remember, you're going to develop a lot of focus here. You're going to be able to act with decision, with will, with power. Keep on pumping your navel point and moving your hand up and down. And try to keep the right arm as straight as you can. You try not to move the right arm. You only move the left up and down. Move the hand with your breath. Keep on moving. Yes, you can. Recharging and balancing the nervous and the immune system. Here we go. Keep on pressing the right thumb into the ring and the pinky finger of the right hand and pull the right hand to the right side and don't move the right arm for no reason. You're just moving the left up and down while you breathe. Keep up. You're doing it great. Keep on moving. Time goes by. Time goes by. Time goes by. Keep on pumping that navel point. It's not only a noise that you're doing with your nose. The nose and the belly are connected. 
Concentrate on your third eye for intuition. Are you doing that? Is your third eye activated? Are you doing that? Is your third eye activated? Are you doing that? Beautiful. We have some minutes here. No reason to stop. You want to balance and recharge your nervous and your immune system. You want to be wiser. You want to be focused. You want to be more intuitive. So you need to keep on going. If your arm is going crazy and you feel you cannot move it, just leave it still, but keep on doing the breath of fire. Almost there, last 20 seconds of this first part, of this first Kriya. You can do this, keep up, last 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna take a big inhale. You're gonna hold the breath, focus on the third eye and tense the whole body. You're tensing the whole body. You're tensing the whole body, tensing, tensing, everything stretching and tensing and holding the breath and tensing and stretching and holding still, exhale. And now inhale again. Hold the breath and stretch and tense the whole body. Tense it. Exhale. Last time. Hold the breath, stretch and tense. Tense it, tense the fingers, tense the arms, tense your spine. Keep the eyes closed. Exhale. One last time. Hold it. Extend. Tense. Exhale. Now the right hand goes into the chest and the left hand goes over the right and the left hand wraps the fingers around the right like this and you close your eyes and the hands are on the chest and you inhale. You hold the breath and you press the hands together. They're holding and they're touching and they're pressing and you're tensing the whole body. And you exhale, inhale. Hold the breath, press each hand, pressing, tensing exactly in front of the heart. Exhale, last time, inhale, hold, stretch, grab, exhale, relax the hands and the knees and just close your eyes and feel if something has changed. Breathe in and out. Keep your eyes closed. Can you feel, can you perceive with your limited senses that something got recharged and balanced? Not yet. Try a little harder. And very slowly, you know, open your eyes. Nice. We're gonna stretch the legs for a moment because we're gonna do most of the Kriya in sitting. You're gonna open the legs. You're gonna try to bring the arms forward. And you're gonna relax the arms here. You can place the elbows on the floor or just leave the hands flat like this. 
And you're going to close your eyes for a moment, trying to walk with your hands a little further so that the inner thighs start opening and you feel a beautiful stretch. Closing the eyes here. Mm. Inhaling. Exhaling. Walking a little further if you can. Inhaling. Exhaling. A little further. Inhaling. Exhaling. Feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. Walking further with your hands, inhaling, exhaling. Feeling the stretch staying there when it's literally feeling that it's stretching, you stay there, you breathe. And very slowly you walk back with your hands. You join the legs and you make them shake a bit. Beautiful. I will ask you to be my DJ now for the second time of today. And you're gonna play the song for synthesizers. You have to have the hand in, they are in hand. We're gonna start with this heart connection Kriya. It's a Kriya to open the heart center and be able to tell the truth and feel compassion for the humans as the non-human beings that are surrounding you in this life, in this physical realm. I'm in. You're gonna stay in easy pose like this. Remember, breath of fire is only done by the women or men that are not in their cycles. So if you happen to be in your cycle, you just do long in this reading. We're gonna bring the right hand in Surya Mudra. This means the ring finger is gonna touch with the thumb and you're gonna lift it up. And then the left hand is going to be in Buddhi Mudra. This means the pinky finger is with the thumb. And we're going to stay here with the arms up. And we're going to do breath of fire in this position through the mouth. <sighs> Thumping the babe, navel point at the same time as the mouth is open. And the arms are not going to go down. I repeat, Surya and Buddhi. The rest of the fingers should stay up. Some rebel, some not. Closing the eyes. Here we go. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, opening the mouth for breath of fire. <sighs> Keep the upper arms parallel to the floor. Keep the Four arms perpendicular and just staying here, concentrating on the third eye while you breathe through the mouth and breath of fire, pumping that energy in and out through the body, concentrating that you want to open the heart by bringing your own energy up. Keep on breathing, halfway there, yes you can, you're doing it great, keep on breathing, yes you can.
You're doing it great. One more minute. Concentrating on that breath. Creating a rhythm. Yes, you can. Keep on breathing. Only 30 more seconds. Keep those arms up. If you're getting dizzy, you make a little stop and breathe through the nose. If you can, keep on going. Keep on going to the last moment. <laughs> Equal parts, breath of fire. In and out. Equal parts. <gasps> Twenty seconds, yes you can. <sighs> now you're gonna inhale deep through the nose. Hold the breath. Exhale, keep the arms up, we're gonna do it again, inhale. Hold the breath, I'm counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes, you can, don't resist it, keep on holding. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, if this is your calling, then you can exhale. If you can stay here for seven more seconds, six and five, four, three, two, exhale. Last time, inhale. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale. Bring the hands down, relax the mudra, close your eyes. Now take a big inhale and exhale. And bring your hands at the heart center. Right over left, eyes are closed. You're gonna meditate on your heart, concentrating on the tip of your nose. So the eyes are closed, but your focus is at the tip of your nose. So if you could see the tip of your nose, can you see the tip of your nose? And you breathe long and deep. And you feel the goodness of the heart and you say thank you to this heart and can connect you to oneness and you're going to feel the totality of God, God being the generating, organizing and destroying force that created the environment, your body, your life, the planets, the universe itself. Thank you. Feel this oneness inside of you and outside of you, under your hands and breathe. Breathe this oneness you are part of it. You were chosen to exist. It is so great and so expansive and so overwhelming. Exactly under your heart. Can you feel what I'm saying? I am saying that you have the universe under your hands.
just meditating on this idea, keeping your eyes closed, focusing on that nose. Keep on breathing, feeling the goodness of the heart. Nose, concentrating on the nose. Concentrate, meditate on the goodness of the heart. Concentrate, focus here, now, here, under your palms, grabbing your heart, now. You are chosen to live now. Think about oneness. Feel the totality of God inside of you. You are creation, you are destruction, you are generating force. You can do anything you want. Anything. Nose focus. And you grab your heart with your hands and connect with it now, right now. So much that you feel that you have your heart in your hands and it feels real. You have a heart in your hands. And through this heart you can love. And through this heart, you can feel connected to something greater. Only because you have this heart and the energy goes up and up and up and up. Higher, expanding, higher, expanding. Higher, keep on grabbing your heart. Breathing, don't forget to breathe. What about your nose? Inhaling deep and exhaling. And now inhaling and holding that breath of light. Inhale. Hold that breath inside you. Exhale, relax the hands and the knees, stay here, just trying to connect to the type of frequency of energy that you're having now, has something changed? Can you feel something change? Can you? Mm -hmm. 
when I inhale fully. And open your eyes on that exhale. And you're gonna bring the knees to your chest. This one is not so easy as it looks. You're gonna wrap the arms around the, the shins or the legs. And you're gonna try to jump the body by pushing with your feet off the mat. <laughs> We're not gonna do it forever. So the idea is to jump up and down by using the strength of your feet, trying to release the body from the ground. So you're gonna use the feet and you're gonna lift the butt up. Closing the eyes, inhaling fully and exhaling, here we go. Imagine now you're putting the energy of the first chakras literally pulling through your spine. Keep the arms on your shins, on your knees, on your legs, and keep on pushing, jumping up and down the body. Whatever you can do, it's okay. Just keep on jumping up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Can you do it faster? No, you can't. Can you try to do it faster? Keep on breathing, concentrating on your breath, pushing the feet on the floor. It's only 30 seconds. Keep on pushing that sexual energy stored in the first chakras up. Now it's 15 seconds. Yes, yes. And five, four, three, two, and one stop. Feet on the floor, spine straight, inhale. Hold the breath, apply Mule Panda, contract your sex organ, your anus, and your navel point. If you're not pregnant, concentrating, pulling, 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 and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Mm. And immediately going onto your back for the next exercise. We're gonna do breath of fire here. You are gonna bring the legs 90 degrees. You are gonna bring the hands 90 degrees. You are gonna point the toes up like this. You're gonna do breath of fire. When you close your eyes, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling to begin. Pointing those toes, keep on pointing those toes, burning out everything, all the toxins away. You don't need toxins. Ciao, ciao. Pointing those toes, pointing those toes, stretching those legs, stretching those arms. Do not move them. The only thing moving is the navel point. Up and down, up and down. You're burning. You're burning everything out. That's what you're doing. You're burning, burning everything out. Eliminating toxins, keep up. Concentrating on the third eye while you breathe. Don't forget to concentrate at the middle of your eyebrows. Keep on breathing, pointing those toes. Pointing, pointing, pointing those toes. Keep on breathing. We have one more minute here. Breath of fire till the end. Remember, you're moving your own energy through the body. This is not random. 
This is what you need to do for the next exercise. So prepare for the next exercise. Do the best that you can. Fifteen seconds. Yes, you can. Legs straight, toes pointing. Keep on stretching, keep on breathing. Shakes can be shaking, it's okay. Keep on pointing. And now you're gonna inhale fully. Hold that breath, apply Mule Banda. Really feel that you're squeezing those three points, sending the energy up through the spine, neck, head, aura, and exhale down. Release the legs. Release the hands, take a big inhale and exhale. And we're gonna go immediately in the next asana, bringing the right knee to your chest, pulling the body up and basically coming into baby pose. So you're gonna sit on your heels, and you're gonna stretch with the arms aside, the body facing up and you're gonna place the forehead on the floor and you're gonna stay here, go. And this might seem simple, but this is not simple. This is the moment that you're moving the energy that you were just creating up onto your heart. So stay there in baby pose with the forehead on the floor and the hands relax and try to sleep. and relax. Do you want to connect to your heart? Now is the time. Relaxing, surrendering, shoulders become heavy, mind becomes empty, heart opens more and more. Focus on the third eye so much that the energy reaches that point up so much. Keep on looking. Keep on breathing. Surrender to time and space. We have some minutes here. Pressing on the third eye with your head, concentrating.
Shoulders are heavy. Heart opens wider, bigger, stronger. Your heart can feel more now. Inhaling and exhaling. Very slowly coming up. You're going to come into your back. And this time, we're going to do it like this. The legs are going to be up. The hands are going to be up 90 degrees. We're going to do breath of fire at the same time as we bring the legs and the arms away from each other. And then back into the first position. So it's going to be like this. Notice that my legs are separated a bit and the toes are pointing. Eyes are closed, arms are up, legs are up, toes are pointed. You're going to bring the legs and the arms separated from each other and then back into the original position while you breathe through breath of fire. Here we go. Keep your eyes closed, keep on breathing powerful. Everything that you're doing now, it's for you. You're strengthening the heart center. This is the last moving asana, the last part is a meditation. So enjoy this part of this beautiful workout for the body, for the heart, legs straight. Try to create a rhythm with your breath and with the movement of the arms and legs. Lowering the legs and the arms behind your head only around 30 centimeters, not too much. Do not arch the lower spine, keep on moving. Keep on pumping the navel point. Yes, keep on. Only one more minute. Yes, you can. Do not bend the legs, do not bend the arms. You can do this. Yes, you can. Keep them straight. Keep those points pointing like a ballerina. 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, come center, extend it all, inhale fully. Hold that breath, apply Mula Bandha, contract your earth, your water, your fire. Keep on pointing those toes, the legs should be shaking while you're holding the breath for five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Extend the legs, extend the arms, take a big inhale here. And exhale. Now bring the right knee to your chest. Pull the body up. And you're gonna sit in easy pose. The last part of this Kriya. It is gonna be a beautiful meditation, hands on the heart center, cause that's what we're working on. Right over the left, or left over the right. Eyes closed, breathe. We're gonna be here a while. Just breathe. Thank you. 
listening to your breath through your heart. Looking forward, concentrating on the third eye. Surrender. Feel your heart expanding, becoming more sensitive, becoming wider. Keep on breathing. Expand your heart on every breath like a muscle becoming bigger. More compassion, more love, more awareness. More connected with something greater than you. Keep on pressing that heart. Keep your eyes closed. This meditation is only to connect with your heart center. Can you do that? Consciousness looking at itself. Concentrating on the third eye. Focus there now. So much that you feel a pressure between your eyebrows. Keep on looking there. Keep on breathing long and deep, prana moving through the body. This is it, this is your heart. Are you touching your heart? Can you feel your heart? What is the heart saying? What is the heart wanting? How is the heart feeling? Whose heart is this heart?
keep on breathing. This is the last part of the Kriya. Completely grateful for this heart. Keep on breathing on those hands. Hello, dear heart. Can you allow me to love more? Can I love more? Can you expand so that I have more space in you? And I can fit this love? I hear you beating. Thank you for beating. Thank you for these 24 hours you gave me today. I feel the beating. I feel you there. You are indeed inside of me. Now my hand is beating. I am aware. Now my other hand is beating. Now my wrists are beating. Now my arms are beating. Now my chest is beating. Now my whole body is beating. You mark the seconds of life and I am grateful. You're gonna take a big inhale. And exhale. Another inhale. And exhale. And now you're gonna hold the breath, inhale. Hold that breath of life. And exhale, hands on the knees, inhale, and exhale. Stay here a moment, feeling how the frequency of your electromagnetic field has rise higher. And very slowly, if you can, you're gonna open your eyes and you're gonna prepare for a deep relaxation. You're gonna play the song, The Space Between, if you want. Or you're gonna stay in silence and you're gonna lay down on the mat with the palms facing up and the feet falling apart. 
I'm gonna let the body rest and do nothing for the next minute. Enjoying this space between. Relaxing. And doing nothing for a while.
and very slowly without rush you're gonna start to rotate your feet and your hands remaining still and relaxed you're gonna stretch and wake up arms overhead feet going down you're gonna grab the right knee with your left hand and place it over the straightened left leg opening the arms looking to the right side pressing the knee to the left Feeling the stretch in the lower spine and then change. Grabbing the left knee with the right hand, placing it over the right leg, opening the arms, looking to the left with your head, pressing the knee with your right hand. Feel. And then bring in the legs and the hands in the air. You're gonna wrap the soles of the feet and the palms vigorously creating heat and waking up the nerve endings, creating heat faster. And when you feel this heat between feet and hands, you're gonna bring the knees to your chest and you're gonna start rocking to the right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. And then carefully forwards and backwards a few times. Oh, since the meditation was inside of the Kriya, we meditated today. We're going to close this session just by bringing the hands at the center of the chest. We're going to wrap them vigorously. And then when you have this heat between your palms, you're going to place it exactly in front of the heart. Inhaling fully. And exhaling, inhaling for Satnam. 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 Satnam, hands into the third eye for intuition, back into the mouth for truth, and then back into the heart center for love, compassion, and awareness. Keeping the eyes closed one more time here, inhale and exhale. Going back in three, two, one. Thank you for joining. Namaste. I'm going to stop the recording.